Hi, this is Raylene with Raylene Creates. I'm here today with another challenge. It's going to be a fun one. It is a wellness as well as a sticker challenge for National Sticker Day. If you want to see what I am about to do with all these stickers for National Sticker Day in my wellness planner, as well as my classic planner, stay tuned. know I love a challenge. It kind of helps me have a theme for each week. Well, I am in uh, several groups. One of the groups is called the Traveling Planners, and it's a planner that goes around. And in this group, we decided that we were going to have a wellness challenge for the month of January. So I literally started um, with uh, another lady who is uh, has a YouTube channel, and uh, she is Planneristic 101, and um, I'm going to link her channel. You want to definitely check out her video. She did an amazing job with a black and white spread doing the wellness challenge. So Along with collaborating with um, Planneristic 101, this is also a collaboration with several other planner babes uh, that was hosted by Miranda and Jasmine. We will have all of those links to their channels in the description. You want to go and check out each and one of our videos to see exactly how we use the stickers in this challenge. We've been challenged to use 30 plus stickers in one spread. I don't think that's kind of hard for me because I can use up some stickers, but we're going to see. And so while we're doing it, we will count them and we will see that if I use up the 30 or more, I kind of have, you know, how I like to plan them out. So I am going to jump right in and get started. So for the week of January 13th to the 18th, in this sticker challenge as well as a wellness challenge. This is in my regular classic happy planner section and I'm going to it's going to have a wellness theme. Um the reason why I want to do this here, I'm also going to do a similar spread in my wellness planner, but I for the whole week I wanted to be focused on wellness. This past week was my first week back at work and wellness is really important to me. Self-care is very important. So for this week, all I want to do is focus on wellness, making sure that no matter what I'm doing, that I'm focused on my well-being. So in this one, I'm just, it's going to be my regular everyday planning. And then when I do the wellness one, and I hope you'll watch that video, I will focus on spirit mind and body and soul so that you'll see how I incorporate wellness in everything that I do. So here, what I've done is I've decided for the theme, every time I kept thinking of wellness and spa days and things like that, I saw purple. And so for this one, I will be doing a purple theme. So I kind of went through some sticker books and found purple. Here are some of my pre-planning and as I was going through, I went through the Happy Memory Keeping Floral Memories book, which is an old book. I'm not sure if they still have it, but it's one that I've always loved because it has big, bold stickers in it because they were made for memory keeping. And so um, I found all the ones that are purple out of this book. So this and is the Teresa Collins um happy planner and it has a lot of peach in it uh, as I had that problem or not problem I had that last week as well where I had to cover up a lot of the peach with the black to do with the black and white scheme since I'm going with the purple until this week um in this um planner I want to kind of cover up some of that as much as I possibly can going to use um, some of these washi tapes to use uh, to do some of the covering up but I'm going to start off with my my um, large stickers first and then I'll kind of use the um, the washi tape around that so as you can see I do have my um, 
my stickers here on uh, this sticker sheet. And then over here, um, I think I'm gonna grab a few more of these purple ones that I want and put them here ready to go. This is also a stickering challenge. So I really want to make sure that I'm incorporating all the stickers that I wanted to incorporate as well as and cover my, my purple. As I was looking in, I just bought this book um, recently and it has some beautiful flowers in it and it also has some more purple in it and then it has this one. I'm it's a little different and I don't want too many different flowers, but these are just absolutely beautiful. So I think I'm going to try and use them as much as possible. What I like about these is they kind of have a corner flavor to them. And then there's this big one here. So I may come, I think I'm gonna start with them first and work in my corners. And I tend to, I, I realize that Generally, when I first put down my first um, sticker, that shows the direction in which I'm going. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, how do I decide? I don't normally always have an idea of where I'm going to go. But today, I kind of want to go with this in the corner here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably um, cover up some of these lines with my um, white out. The only thing about using a big sticker like that, when you're starting to count them, those big ones take up a lot of room. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. And I always like to use these extra pieces. Um, this one might not be too much, but I'm going to take this one here and kind of lay it there so but that's still one sticker okay i actually love that and then there is another one which is okay now this one i'm kind of leaning towards this corner over here and going to because it's so big I am going to um, layer it a little bit here and then cut the excess, but I'll steal here and it leaves me room to put a quote there. Okay, and when I do that, I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to cut these extras here. I love these flowers. So I may come right here and put this extra one there. And then this one here. Okay. Okay. So now I actually really like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come with some of these other colors, uh, the other flowers and add them to other areas of the page. sticker here was going to be my focal point. You are pretty much my favorite. And um, so I'm thinking of coming right here before I put down any more flowers. And then I want to put flowers around it. 
And this is where some more of these other ones will come into play. And since there's this gold on it, I was thinking that I would, or the, would use some of it here. And if I cut this one, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this one here. And then at the bottom of this box, I'm gonna put the other half. She liked that a lot. And I really, I think I want to come and add another shade of purple. I think. No, I'm going to wait. Okay. Now I want to stop for a second before I get too carried away. And this is bothering me here. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to cut this a little extra off. Okay. All right. So before I get too far on, I want to remember my um, events and activities for the week. As you know, that I always kind of use a little. Um, half sheet here. So Monday, I have a Mary Kay meeting. For those of you that don't know, I uh, restarted my Mary Kay business. And so there's a Mary Kay meeting on Monday, as well as a, um, as well as Monday is National Sticker Day. So I want to highlight that here. Um, actually, I'm going to highlight it down here. And then, um, and then do my Mary Kay meeting right across this area here. And then Tuesday, I have a, um, a meeting at work as well as a um a conference call so i want to do that on tuesday and then wednesday bible study and war room as well as a meeting so i got um, several meetings here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come and put down some some boxes that i got from the wellness book and put them out on these areas here boxes for the days that I have events. I don't have um, any major events on Thursday and Friday, but I do have some things that I need to do. So what I'm thinking about doing is some um, checklists on those days. Um, I'm going to use this note section here to um, put down my my uh, weekly to do's and then I will have some things that I need to do on Thursday and Friday. And so uh, let me see if I can find some checklists. This is the Watercolor Bright um, accessory pack. I believe that's what these are called. And um, I forgot where I found this at. But, um, and I don't buy many of these because um, I don't usually normally use these here. But I am going to use this because it has a lot of watercolored uh, purple in it. And so I saw that it had some, um, some purple dots and um asterisks i should say and i'm going to use some of those and then i also like this one that says happy plans happy life and so i'm going to use that this one here says to do and this one says today i'm going to bring those in as well I really want to bring this in, but what before I do that, I want to come across here and bring in some of that washi tape. Um, 
as I was looking at this, I really don't mind the peach. I um, mean, it kind of brings out the other one, but I'm going to bring a little of the washi tape in, and then I'm going to bring in, I'm going to go ahead and lay that today down, kind of like that. And then this one says to do, and I think I'm just going to cluster that right here, okay? And I'm going to come with some washi tape. And I'm being challenged to use my stash I feel like I um, should also use my washi tape and so um, yeah I don't normally or I forget often to use my washi tape so I'm trying to be very very intentional in the use of my washi tape now I still have two lines up here and uh, too much purple up there would be an overkill so I was thinking about coming with uh, one of these gold ones that um, either this one or this one here and just kind of put a touch of that to kind of bring that down to a different color. Then the only color that I would have, it would be that one there. Sometimes me and Washi are not <laughs> friends. Uh, they are challenged, but I actually um, like the little touch of the gold um, here on uh, the spread and um, I'm liking it. So currently I believe that I'm at 20 stickers. Um, and so um, I uh, know that I'm, my aim is for 30. And so I want to come and I, um, I still have a couple of more flowers that I wanted to put in. Not a lot, but a little bit uh, here and there to kind of um, to uh, bring in um, more of my colors, especially on this side of the page. And then I also have these splotches. And so I think these splotches will really kind of make... Um, uh, fill in the, the uh, white spaces and make it a little bit more pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have these little stickers here and um, actually they were like this. I did not cut them. So they do count. And so I'm going to make this will be 22, 23, 24, 25, and I'm going to use them around these boxes to kind of just give a little interest to each one of these boxes. And this one here. Okay, so that's about 24, 25. I'll recount them in a few minutes. Um, but I'm kind of missing something right here. And um, I don't, I'm not sure if I have any more of these asterisks. If I do, I come here and put those there. As my go-to um, book, I will go right here and grab some asterisks. Uh, they are a little different than these, but I'm going to use them anyway. They're a little smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these down. I search every one of my sticker books, and I don't have any National Sticker Day um, stickers. So, and again, this is Use My Stash. I'm not going to go out and buy a book just so that I could have that one sticker. I know that it is in the Planner Babes book, but I'm not going to go buy that book. So what I'm gonna do is I got uh, my Papermate Flare, uh, one of my favorite pens, and I am going to uh, write it in right here. And then, so, but I really want to take away this line so that I have a clear area there. So hang with me while I do that. I've used my um, Papermate dry line to take out that white, that black line there so that I can now write in National Sticker Day. It is on Monday, but I'm going to write it here. And I 
like my handwriting. So a lot of times I don't um, feel comfortable doing it, but I'm going to, um, I'm okay with it. So um, I know that I'm way over the 30, the 30 count and I still really want to use these here just to add a touch, a pop of the color. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little of these um, splotches. And This is my spread for December 13th through the 19th for the Wellness Channel with Planneristic 101, as well as the Stickering Challenge for National Sticker Day. You don't want to forget to check out Casa's channel. She did an amazing layout, so you want to go check her out, as well as all the other planner babes listed in the description for the Stickering Challenge. I've used over 35 stickers me a wellness feeling because it has that calm feeling and I love that it is a place for me to um, share how um, how I feel about myself uh, the beauty that is inside of me so I really love this layout I will be doing a layout in my wellness planner so you definitely want to stay tuned I hope you like this video if you did why don't you hit that like button if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I really appreciate you for being a part of Raylene Creates. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that bell so that you'll be notified the next time a video is uploaded. And remember, as I encourage you, I encourage myself. Be blessed.